Leo, Leo please, Leo and Pisces. This is a general love me reading for Leo and Pisces for the month of October. Well, darlings, heaven on earth, heaven on earth. That is the goal, that is the goal, heaven on earth. We're gonna open this with a general reading. Okay. Hmm, looks like some dating occurred. It's always a good start. Wishing on a star. This looks like somebody that somebody wished for. There was some truth delivered to you about this connection. You're trying to move too fast. Both of you are trying to move too fast into the into this connection. Oh, there's the world card again. You hooking up with someone new is indication that this is moving forward. There's the lover's card. The past is gone. Oh, there's the death. That means transformation. Moving forward. So he's leaving everything behind and he's moving forward. Seems like this. Alrighty, let's see here. Still trying to heal from the past. Some seeds that you plant with somebody don't always grow. You know, you plant seeds in the spring, they don't always grow. But everything still has to transform. So you throw the old seeds out and you get new ones and plant new ones. Death means transformation. You're too worried about everything that you invested in the past in your new cycle. That cycle has completed. There was no equal give and take with the last relationship that you were with. This is for both of you. This is for Leo and Pisces. So you two tried rushing in and moving too forward after a couple dates, and that's just not how that works. You both still need to heal your past so that this love can come in. There is love here. There is love on the table here. You know, you did, you both move forward. You know, and that's what dating is. That's starting to plant seeds and stuff like that. You're just trying to move too fast. <clears throat> stuff takes time. Time to restore peace in your life, in your surrounding life right now. There was too much force being put on other situations of the past. Seems like Leo has some issues going on too with her past. You have to finish those out before you start new. Okay, you can't intertwine everything. Looks like Leo had some old love with an earth sign. She's still sad about. I mean, you you two could be a complaint hotline all you want, but that's not going to change anything. All you are is just bringing all the negative energy into your new relationship. You let everything go and you worry about yourselves, not your past relationships. 
There's still something hidden with this. You both came up in this reading. Both Pisces is the moon and the queen of wands. That is Leo Sagittarius or Aries. Seven, seven of pentacles came up again. You both are worried about what you lost in your past instead of worrying about building on your future. So you need to restore the peace within yourself before this love can come in. This is a divine connection trying to come in. Your higher self is felicitating this connection with you too. So that yins can start building together on a new foundation. And you don't kick people out in the streets, you know, so you two can get on with your married life. You deal with things slowly and as they come up. There's still issues, unseen stuff going on. That's, yes, this is Pisces. Yes, this, but that, yes, this is the, the Pisces card. But it also means there's things going on still that you have no control over. That's what the towers are, the good and the bad. There's things that you don't see yet that are still going on. It doesn't matter. Leo is stuck on what her ex did to her. And Pisces is stuck on the woulda, shoulda, coulda. And it's causing tension between your relationship. Everybody is going through this right now. What is going on? Anything. Oh, impatient. Both sides are being impatient. And you're going to break your tie with all your tension. Seven of Swords. A seven, seven, seven. Judgment is being served on your relationship. Not how you're acting towards your, your exes, but judgment on how you two are act, acting together. That's what judgment is. You're both confused. That's a shame. You both have a divine counterpart or gift coming in. And you're letting the past... Stuff that's no longer even in existence anymore ruin this connection. So you might want to think about that. 